All right, everyone, the question says, what volume will 5.6 moles of sulfur hexafluoride, which is SF6, gas occupy if the temperature and pressure of the gas are 128 degrees Celsius and 9.4 atmospheres? So let's first write down what the problem gives us. We get 5.6 moles. So we have moles, which is denoted by lowercase n, 5.6. We have a temperature and a pressure. That temperature is 128 degrees Celsius. So temperature, T for temperature, 128 degrees C. And we also have a pressure of 9.4 atmospheres. The question asks for volume. So uppercase V, that is what we are solving for. So looking at what we are given in this problem and what it is asking for, this is probably an ideal gas law problem. The ideal gas law, otherwise sometimes known as Pivnert, is PV equals NRT. We have three of the variables given to us, one that we are looking for, and the fifth R is the universal gas constant, which we will later pick from uh, the available options. So R is the last one we will need. So let's manipulate our ideal gas law to solve for what we want, which is volume. So on the left side, we have volume and pressure. If we divide both sides by pressure, we will effectively cancel pressure on the left because it's on the top and the bottom and isolate for V. So we end up with V equals NRT over P. So now we can plug in our numbers for our variables. So for N, for moles, we have 5.6 moles, abbreviated MOL. And then we're going to multiply that by uppercase R, the universal gas constant. Now we have multiple options for the universal gas constant. They're up here in the top right you generally are going to pick the universal gas constant which has the same pressure units that you are using for your pressure in the equation or the pressure units that you want in the end. So because our pressure is in atmospheres, I am going to pick the universal gas constant that uses atmospheres. So in our equation, we will put 0.08206. And the units for the universal gas constant are all liters per atmosphere over Kelvin mole. Okay, and then on top we also need the temperature. The temperature is 128 degrees Celsius, which we need to convert to Kelvin. So to do that, we're going to add 273 and get 401 Kelvin for our temperature. So that will go up top. 401 Kelvin. Okay, now on the bottom of all of that is pressure. Our pressure is 9.4 atmospheres. Now once we have everything plugged in, let's make sure all of our units cancel out and we're left with exactly what we want. We have moles up top here and then moles here. It's on the bottom of the top so of that fraction so essentially it's on the bottom so they will cancel kind of the same thing with kelvin they will cancel and then atmospheres here and here and we are left with liters which is perfect because we're looking for volume okay let's plug this in our calculator and do the math we are going to do 5.6 times 0 0.08206 times 401 divided by 9.4 equals, and in the end, for volume, we should end up with around 19.61, which we will round to 20 liters. All right, so final answer for this problem, our volume is 20 liters.
All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.